Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at Tainted Grail Conquest again. This has been developed by Awakened Realms Digital, who is sponsoring this video. And uh, yeah, I've played this one a couple times in the past, and it's one of those games that seems to change pretty drastically every time I play it. It gets different looks, and uh, and this time is no different. There's been a pretty big update that just came out here at version point nine nine. Full release day is is uh, quickly approaching, I guess. Um, so what's going on here? Basically, we're in this dark fantasy Arthurian kind of a thing where the uh, the world is is messed up. There's this weirdness, this strange, foggy stuff out in the world, uh, corrupting things, making things not right, like this guy right here. And uh, it's our job to go out into that weirdness and uh, and and kill a few strange things, rescue a few folks, bring them back to our town to build up our town, so we can go back out and do it all over again. And, uh, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. So, anyway, let's check it out and um, see how it goes. So, I am, um, well, here's how this works. We basically go out, you, you do your thing, you save the villagers, you, you meet some demons, you die, you get some perks, and you go out and do it again. Uh, you don't really die because there's sort of like a mix, there's like a blending of hell and, and uh, uh, where are we at? Avalon. Um, so yeah, it's a mixture of a few, few things. But anyway, I've died a few times. I'm coming back. I get to choose who I'm going to be each time. So I know I've played as a necromancer before. I did that one last time, I think. We raised these, uh, like, golems and worms and things to fight. Um, but I noticed one in here. I don't recognize the summoner. I'm not sure how long it's been around. Or the pathfinder. Pathfinder avoids taking damage in order to become more powerful each turn. We got three new folks that are supposed to coming out with big release day. Um... I'm leaning towards that summoner. I, I, I've done a necromancer before. It's great. Blood mage. Maybe. Offers their own blood in order to summon minions to their side. The minions are automatically activated and promoted at the start of each turn. Okay. I like it. Let's blood mage, shall we? Yeah. Let's be that guy. Um, something's wrong with my neck there. We can change it, I think. We can change that. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, get some, get some hair, buddy. Uh, oh, blood mage. We gotta have, like... Uh, yeah, no, no hair. You got a, you got a cape anyway. Put, put a beard on, buddy. Uh, that's all good. And get yourself some tattoos, why don't you? Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, yeah, there we go. And, um, sure, that one's good. Um, I would like... Yeah, I'd like that one. That one's pretty cool. We don't have tattoos yet. They're not here yet. Okay, I like it. Um, so... I get to choose. My ultimate ability is a thing we'll see here in a moment. Um, I can either have a starting the combat with a blood golem. I can start the combat with a blood abomination or a blood worm. Um, let's go to blood abomination. Why don't we? Let's do it. Okay, so we'll get an idea on the story and all that stuff in a minute. Uh, I'm, I'm skipping the like early game stuff because it's very wordy and, you know cinematic and all that, but I think I covered that in the last time that I played this, so if you want to see the videos and all that, you can go there and watch that one, but I'll just sum up. The world is weird. We go out into it and save the day. There you go. Alright, so here I am. I am this guy over here. I am uh, <laughs> I am Jim. That's the name of my guy, and I mentioned I've been doing this a couple times, so uh, right now you begin with, we start out with nothing. we got nothing in our town. However, I found a blacksmith last time I was running around here. And hey look, there he is. Don't even think about bringing other blacksmiths here with you. This village is mine. We are dead serious when it comes to competition. As you can see, he's a friendly fella. Uh, so we can chat with the guy if you want. We can also go and do some trading and things. Let's uh, let's do some let's do some runestone management. Uh, I have a hundred bucks in my pocket and he's gonna sell me some some uh, runes, which I can plop on myself to give myself some abilities. Uh, I could I could take first turn in combat, increase my weapon damage 50%. Maybe. Uh, all weapon damage by 2 there. We got each card played increases your damage by 5% this turn. In the first turn of combat, draw one additional card with the cost reduced by 1. I like it. Or if I put it in my armor slot, I heal by 5 hit points every combat. I like the sound of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just gives me a Increase my armor by 10 just by having that. Okay, I'll do that one too. I'll take both those. Okay, so let's go and uh, we can also exchange things if we want, like those two things we picked up there. Uh, get some new upgrades also, but nah, we don't need that. Uh, no, leave me alone, buddy. I won't talk to you anymore. Let's go and see what we can do with myself. I have, there's my items. I've got a couple healing mixtures and uh, and some weird candles, which 
clears out the weird, you know. So this guy we want to put in first turn combat. There are one additional card with cost reduced. That seems pretty good too. But the healing five after every combat. I don't know. That I don't know. I, um, I don't know. I think I gotta go. I gotta go put that in the weapon. We gotta go for the extra card and all that. Uh, deck building. That's all based in, in here too. Cracked Ethel. Uh, Ethel. Let's put that in my armor. There we go. So now we can. Uh, have a bit more armor, which seems like a good idea. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, I'm, I'm a blood mage, right? And I'm not a very tanky fella. So, what's going on here? You can see up in the, the map up there that... Oops, sorry, buddy. Um, our main goal is to go sl slay a stone golem. He's out there in the world somewhere. And um, I haven't unlocked much. Um, but to get to him is going to take some time. It's probably, it, might, it might take some deaths, actually. Um... Let's see here. We can get our map pulled up. So we can run over here. We, I think he is... I don't know. We'll find out. I believe it randomizes each time you come out here. Let me go ahead and whip out a worm candle. Boink. It clears up the place so it's not so tainted and nasty. And we'll go... Is that, is that the big man? Oh, there's a candle maker over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go save that guy. Let's run over here. We got, uh, we got some strange guys. They're having a fit. We can squeeze around them if we want to. We want to avoid combat. But no, we want, we want combat. Because Jim... You know, Jim doesn't shy from combat. Jim sees somebody, like, struggling with, with swords in their back, and he Jim says, okay. All right, my blood abomination has shown up. Hey, buddy, you ready to chew on that strange guy? Uh, he says yes. Okay, so I, I the way this thing works out is I have this ultimate ability. As I do things, I gain charges in that, which I can use for a, for a big blast. I can overcharge a minion with it. Um, these are my cards for the round. They go away at the end. At the end so i got three actions we can do. And then we rinse and repeat. So, first off, I'm going to promote my minion. There you go, buddy. He's getting a little bit fatter, a little bit scarier. I can summon a blood golem. Offer 2% of your max hit points to summon a blood golem. Um, he might be that tough. He's going to hit me for 7 to 9 damage. Uh, I can use this tainted force, which is because I'm in the weird. I get these weird car these, these cards. I can smack him. Or, if I don't play it, I gain damage. This seems like a bad idea, so I'm going to use that. Take that, buddy. Okay, and then I can... What else we got here? Offer five hit points. Draw a random summon card from your deck. I haven't played the summoner before, by the way. Let's activate my minion. So for my minion to do something, I have to tell him to do something. I have to use an action for him to do his thing. I will go increase your armor for free, though. There you go. Um, he might hit me. I might kind of hurt. I could give myself a barrier just in case. No, no. Go get him, buddy. There you go. Good job. Okay, all done. His turn. He's gonna do his thing again. Oh, nice, nice. What, what did you, what'd you do that for? You, 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 you're level three now. Well done, buddy. I can promote him again. I should do it again. I can summon another one of these guys if I wanted to. And no, just, just get him. Just chew on his face. Okay, and then I'm going to do it again. So you see, as I'm doing things, I'm gaining these points, and he's kind of hideous, isn't he? Uh, I don't care about some of that. That's no, fine. Oh my God, we got him. Easy. Well done, buddy. All right. So, end of combat. We leveled up. We get cards. I can I can add some things to my thing. At the start of each turn, promote the minion. Uh, sort of every turn for two points. Uh, activate one minion three times. And then he dies. Or place redirect effect on an enemy for, three for two turns. Damage dealt to the target's allies will transfer to... Oh, that's kind of nice. I want that. Give ourselves a nice tank in there. Um, every minion starts with 15 barrier. That seems pretty good. All blood fey are promoted and being sum after being summoned. My hit points is below 25%. All offerings restore hit points instead of hurting me. Oh. That could really save me, but I'm going to go with the, uh, the barrier. And I found something cool. I found a, a cracked ethyl. I already got one of those. I don't have room for anything else. Okay. Uh, thanks. I'll take it. And I'll put it in my pocket. Okay. So next, and that's basically, basically how this works. We run around and we land. We try to figure some things out. There is a story going on, uh, but we mostly just run around here and we go and say hello to the candle maker. Yeah, this is randomized. Because last time I was in here, this is where the golem was. There's a pack of enemies in front of this candle maker. So let's go. Let's go deal with these guys, and then we will um, get ourselves a candle maker. Okay. Again, we got that, that's a very large boar. We got a healer over here and a, and a, a weak hitter. Now, some of these things down at the bottom, you pay, pay attention to. We got armor. We've got our attack. Sometimes I'll hit them for like 
half their attack damage or whatever. That's what the weird hunter had a lot of. I could do that. It hurts their damage, that kind of thing. He already is down a bit, but he's got armor. He has an aura protection as well, so he's going to gain things as well. And he has redirects damage from Faith Heal. Oh, it goes to him? Uh, okay. Um, let's, go, let's go give... I think I want lots of minions this time. Reduce all damage of all enemies by 10, 20%. If I don't play it this turn, I will increase a random card's cost by one. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. There you go. So we'll, we'll, am, we'll damage their damage. Damage their damage. Um, I would like to... Let's get a blood worm out here. Yeah, that seems cool. And um, I want all damage to go to Mr. Bloodworm. Can I put it on an enemy? Redirect effects on an enemy. All damage that the target's allies will transfer to him. Oh, so I can say, like, yeah, so if, if we try to hit, it's going to go straight to him. He's marked. Okay, okay. Um, I will give you some armor because I like you because you're kind of cute. And I'm going to activate you. There you go. Do your thing, buddy. And I'm done. Okay, they're gonna go do the. They're gonna go do the chewing. He got chomped on. They're growing now. Uh, I can get a blood golem out here if I want. I mean, maybe. Uh, a barrier would be nice. I think. Let's promote. He does. He does some chomping, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. A blood fay. Um. I kind of want to see what you do. Okay. Well, we're gonna barrier. And we're going to barrier myself. Because I'm that kind of guy. There you go. Chomp, chomp. Okay, and they're growing more. Okay, his, his armor is broken. He's doing less damage. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll promote you again, buddy. 7 to 10 versus 4 times 5 to 8. That seems pretty good. Do it again. Yeah, that... Oh, you died. <laughs> I missed that part of it. Um, activate, sure. Get him. You're not gonna die, are you? Um, you got a you got a barrier already. You got armor already, anyways. I'll activate you again. There you go. Yeah, so you're hitting him. It's good, bouncing over to him. I see, I see what's going on there. Pretty good though. He's getting pretty tough. He's getting very large and scary as well. I'm promoting you though. There you go. He's overcharged. Got him. Excellent. We we blew him up because we got him too big. But all we got left is a healer. No problem. I'll spawn this little guy out here. And he's kind of he's kind of cute. What do you do? Ally intends to perform buff. Alright. You do that. I'm going to go ahead and pop one of these out. What are we getting? A blood golem. Okay, we'll use him next uh, next time if we get it. Do damage of all enemies by 20%. Yeah, we'll do that. Use him at 3 for 5, which is kind of worthless. Is that all you do is buff things? You're not very effective, are you? I like this guy a little better. Okay, pop him out there, and I want... You know what? I want everything redirected to you, because you're... Uh, yeah, there you go, whatever. Enemies. I keep thinking it's my allies, but yeah, enemies. Okay, he's going to hurt him a little bit. I have, like, no damage, do I? It's all about my, um, my summons. I suppose it makes sense I am a summoner. Okay, we'll bump him up a little bit. He's level 4 now. Next level, he overcharges. I've got this thing. We can overcharge a minion, and it, and it makes an offering. What's that do? Let's do it. Oh, wait, what would I say? Right click. Okay. I have 12 charges. 400% effects magnitude. Made through the ultimate ability. Yeah, do it. Do it, buddy. You just hit him for a... Did that say 110? Okay. Got it. Kind of similar to the Necromancer, where basically our, our job is to feed everything into, uh, in, into our, our minions. Much different than the, the the weird hunter or the berserker, though, right? For sure. Choking stench of tallow permeates the air. A candlemaker's house stands alone within the weirdness. An inquisitive... The inquisitive tendrils held at bay by dozens of flickering weird candles. There are many grisly tales about candlemakers who secretly make their candles out of people they are supposed to protect. Inside, the candlemaker leans heavily on his cast iron mold, barely managing to stay awake. So fast. They burn out so fast. Perhaps if I... No... I may need both later. Takes a while for him to notice you. The candles aren't out, are they? You're not one of the weird spawns? Doesn't matter. I can't sell you any. I barely make enough to keep myself alive. Well, why don't you come to my village and you make as many candles as you want, you weirdo? Doesn't take much to convince him. Lead the way. 
I could use a place where I won't need all of my produce myself and where ingredients are easier to obtain. Okay. His last words almost make you regret your decision. Yeah. But he's now available, so now he lives at the ha at, at the town. Great. That's kind of a cool house, though. Uh, by the way, in our town, we've got that weird skeleton thing with a big candle. That is our weird candle, like, protecting the town from the uh, the bad things out there. What is that? A milestone. Let's go Let's go milestone. Oh, there's, there's Stone Golem Man. It's a mystery why these stones light up and banish the weirdness when people walk by. Many believe Merlin himself invented the runes carved into them. There's also a darker rumor. That they were left by the four dwellers to lure humans into their domain like moths to the flame. Okay, so we can banish this thing. Um, which boosts... Oh, oh, banish the wilderness. Wildness. Boost it, or we can extinguish it, which loses it, but we gain a weird, weird candle. I got plenty. Uh, we ask for a blessing. Lose this milestone. Receive a random bonus. Um, no, it just boosts the range. Yeah. I mean, Merlin put it out there. Who am I to say no? Who's that guy? Confident priestess. All right. Last thing I want is an un... Ooh. Mr. Priestess has friends. Hello? Okay, let's fight, and then we'll talk to the priestess. Oh, you guys again? Oh, what are you? You're like a... What are you? You're strange. A shaman. Okay. All right, uh, I, I will... Uh, I'm going to do my thing again. I think I think we, we, we spawn these guys first. I don't feel so great. I got to get some healing potions. I got that. Oh, he's tiny. I got a couple healing potions I can use to, to heal myself. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and barrier myself, because it's free. And I'm going to activate... What do you... Oh, you're a healer. Excellent. Give me some heals. No, no, heal me, not, not, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, he's, he's just Mr. Tank is what he is. All right. Um, redirect on every, uh, every enemy. Um, I don't care really who we hit on that one, so let's just promote this guy so we can do his thing. I'll put a barrier on you since you are going to be tanky man. And I'll activate. Are you going to heal your... Tends to heal. Can 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 I get you to heal someone else? Just, uh, just do your thing, buddy. Okay. Yeah, I mean he's get he's getting chomped on pretty good. So it deals a hit for three to five damage, or I will lose fifty percent damage. That sounds like a bad idea. So let's go ahead and use it. Uh, we'll keep smacking that guy around. Uh, little blood fag. I don't care about him. Um, I can promote you. Do I want to do that? It's gonna it's gonna put you into overcharge though. Is that what I want? Do I want? Should I do that? Let's increase your armor, because that's what you're all about there, right? That didn't seem to work. Um, I'll, I'll do it. Let's promote you. Overcharge. Boom. 48 damage. Okay. Uh, I would like to... Um, okay. Yeah, he's just healing himself. Um, what are you putting? A totem, a totem of an owl? Alright, blood abomination. I like this guy. Okay, I'm going to give you, um, I'm going I'm to activate you. Level one. There he goes, now, now he's doing some damage, and now he's gone. Okay, so we've only got four in this thing, so now it'll only do 100% of our normal attack. So we can squander the guy for a damage, but I don't think so. I think I'm going to put the blood worm out, because they've got some more things out here. There we go. And um, we'll let him do his thing. There you go, buddy. And, uh, and I'm done. Okay. Um, activate. Go get him. There you go. Nicely done. Uh, and, 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 you, and you do it too. There you go. I'll give myself a barrier. Right. Done. Okay. I would like sacrifice a minion, promote all others, stun all enemies. Yeah, I need some cards that I can do myself. I always lose 50 armor and 50 damage. That could be bad. That costs two. Um, just this turn, they lose 50 armor and 50%. Yeah, I think I think I like that, just it's only cost one. I like it. Okay, let's see what this, uh, this priestess has to say. Hello, I'm Jim. 
Okay, our old customs that protect all traveling priests of the All Mother. The one you see before you, walking through the weirdness at a brisk, confident pace, seems to realize or care, doesn't seem to realize or care that this protection is you un unlikely to extend here. Uh, can I get a heal? Before you have a chance to ask for anything, something leaps out of the weirdness. <coughs> Do I still get my heal? What are you? Abominations! Alright, let's throw this 10 barrier or... I lose some hit points, so we're going to go ahead and do a... Oh, it gives a barrier. I didn't read it. I didn't read it. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm bringing another friend out. I'm going to promote f said friend. And, uh, and and then let it go. Okay, a lot of chomping going on. A lot of hurting going on on my part. I'm going to keep on chewing. There we go. This is it. Okay, yeah, do it. So 50%. Yeah, that seems like a good thing to have. Five hit points. I'm not gonna. I don't think that's worth it. He would keep my guys like up, but I think I think we got it. I gotta use a hit. Uh, I, I gotta use one of these. Use that thing up on on me, please. Uh, let's go ahead and promote. You're at four. Put him up to three. Or uh, him up to four as well. And then let's activate. There we go. These guys are nasty. We should bring more of those things next time. Praise the mother. I'm glad you were here. You see confidence shining in her eyes. Yeah, she's confident. Once and for all. If all mother is still with us, she will protect me. If not, I'd rather die anyway. Now let me be on my way and you go on yours. With my blessing. And and heal, correct? And what um what are you doing out here? Uh can I have some healing first? Too far away from the altar to cast spells like that. I can give you some potions or teach you a certain technique, though. It's your choice. A secret spell? Well, yeah, I mean, I yeah, give me some spells. I don't want a barrier. Oh, fine. All right, I changed my mind. Give me the potions. All right, that's a pretty big barrier, though. All right, all right. Uh, what else do we got over here? So we've got something over this way. We got big man over back back over here. And there is something back that way. A pack of enemies and a blood altar. So, um, Golem here is big and scary. He's going to destroy me. He's got a thousand hit points. I have no chance against him. Milestone. Let's go take a look at that. Yeah, I would like... Uh, give me a blessing. I got five hit points. <laughs> okay. I hope Merlin didn't like that one. A big treasure guardian over there and a treasure pile. Uh, my candle ran out. Let's pop the candle again. All mother's altar and a pack of enemies. You know what? Let's go say hello to this guard, this uh, this stone golem. How tough is he? I'm sure he's fine. He's got some skulls stuck in his face. No problem. I got a skull in my face too. Look at that armor he's got. This guy's nasty. Okay, reduce all army of enemies by 25 for this turn, or draw a card and increase his cost. I'm going to use this for once. Hurt his armor a bit. Uh, I'm going to need more Blood Abominations, I think. He's got spooky music playing. Uh, oh, I thought I had more. Whoops. Activate uh, this little guy. There you go. Get a Chomp for one point. He's going to hit for 21 or 30. Ooh, it's going to... All enemies. But I but I didn't put a barrier on myself. I thought I had a point left for a barrier. This is going to hurt. Ouch. Okay. Uh, let's put a barrier on myself. I need to get that, that big barrier card. I'm going to get that. Um, I suppose I should probably do this. For me. And then we're going to... I'm going to barrier myself because I'm scared. And the other two left. A blood golem, maybe. A, like a big tank. Cost two. This music is getting creepier and creepier. Mid blood worm. We need damage. No, he's going to kill everybody. Blood golem it is. And everything's going to go... Well, I guess I need to do that. Okay. Okay. All Mother's Blessing. There it is. I want that one. Yeah. There we go. Look at all those... Excellent. Excellent. Risk. Stuns the Golem. Lose 10 armor until the end of combat. I mean, I got 110. Yeah, do it. Promote... Um, uh, this guy. 
Take away his armor, do it. He's got a little friend there. I'm going to give you more armor, but uh, I'm going to give it to you because I'm kind of worried you're going to die immediately. But I don't want you to. We may get there. It's just going to take a long time to get there. You're at four. So that guy's gone already. We get the blood worm out. He costs two. Um, he's going to smack a couple of us for eight to eleven. Um, and facing an awakened golem hits. Yeah, I'll do it. Sure, do some damage to that guy. He's still doing some nasty stuff to us. Let's put on, um... Let's get you jumping. Don't die. Are you going to die this turn? If you're going to die, I'm going to make sure I use you. He's doing his, he's doing his thing. There you go. He made big charge, big hit. Okay, got him. Another barrier. I don't need that right now. We could put it on somebody, but they're just going to get, just going to go away. Stun a random enemy. Four or five barrier. I'll stun him. Seems useful. Can we stun him again? Eh. No, no, that's pointless. This turn, he'll lose some armor. Sure. Promote and chew. Yep. There we go. Okay, up to four. He's gone, so we gotta make sure we get him back again. I guess we can get Blood Fay out there. He does something. Um, we gotta get somebody out there. So we'll pop him out. I will. Um, what's this guy at? He's at he's at four, so he'll he'll burst if he does that. Um, I'll go just activate him. There you go. And stop doing that. Yeah, I need another one. What are we gonna get? Okay. Oh, what did I do that for? I, it needs two. Okay. Um, promote that little guy. And um, take some armor, buddy. Okay, little man's gone. This guy burst. Did some damage though. Uh, get one block and one energy. Draw one card. Lose ten armor. One block. Block is good. Basically, it drop blocks any damage. The, all together. I'll do that. Sure. Seize it. And, um, I gotta get somebody out here. Okay, Bloodworm it is. And draw a card. I'll, mm, I'll use my stuff up. Okay, you put a block on somebody. Is that what you did? You put a block on yourself? You're overcharging. Yeah, I know you do that. Um, I think maybe I should I should use this and pop it on him. Overcharge, big hit. And then let's bring someone else out. I don't have a lot of hit points for this. He's getting a little creepy. Okay, there you go. We need you, buddy. Uh, I'm going to activate you. Keep on chomping. Stun the guy, sure. Keep him stunned. And hit him. Okay, I don't need that. I've got... I just need health. Okay, he's gonna grow. Uh, reduce damage of all enemies by 20%, or increase a card if I don't do it. Yeah, reduce your, your damage. That seems like a good idea. I will buff you up. And anything else I can do here? I mean, I can give you a barrier. Sure, there you go, buddy. Hey, block! Excellent. Give me a blood abomination. I'll take him. And uh, and and go ahead and do your. Th I think you're better. You should you should be doing the damage. Oh, oh. Turn this thing so I can. I you. Do your thing. Go get some nice damage out there. Uh, he's like had a nice chomp there too, doesn't he? Okay. Keep on chomping. I think I'm gonna actually get this. I got this. I played this before. I got destroyed by this guy. So it's nice things are actually turning around here. 
Um, I can promote you and then get you to do your thing. I'm going to lower your armor. Because it's, ba it's bad. Um, I should promote it first. I'm using my s me. I shouldn't do that. I want to use up my hit points. I, I, I'm kind of low. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna not do anything this turn. He's doing a lot of chomping. He's done for. I'm gonna barrier myself. Does that help? Yep. And then I gotta get a minion out of here. Give me something good that'll work. Okay, big, big chomps. I have four hit points. That's a bad. I need a I need a shield. Can I have a shield? Can I have a shield? Um uh oh. I think I'm dead. I don't I didn't get a shield card. Um yeah, you're gonna have to overcharge, buddy. Oh Is that it? Did we win? Don't tell me that guy's gonna kill me, that one little guy. I gain a block. Okay, I gotta use this. I gain a block. I lose, you know, whatever, but it's fine. I get a block so he won't hurt me. Uh, <laughs> um, I lose two percent, two hit points. I don't want to. I don't want either of these guys. These guys are no good. Okay, got a block. Um, oh, here we go. All mother blessing. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, blood abomination. There we go. Uh, yeah, go go do your thing, buddy. Go get him. Got him. Okay. I got twenty five weird stone. I got some wealth. I got a weird candle. I'll take it. Activate a minion and draw a card. That seems pretty good. Heal a minion to full hit points. What about me? And reduce the armor, uh, enemy's armor by 100 for two turns. Uh, that's a freebie. I like freebies. Those are kind of nice. Plug golems are promoted after... This is my uh, my new passive skill. Summoning activate the summon golem. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. As soon as I pop them out, they get a free hit. Very nice. Okay. Well, there's Tainted Grail. Golem collapses and shatters into a thousand pieces at your feet. You feel a strange surge of power in the air with my two hit points. Suddenly, a familiar creature appears. Good. That was good. Congratulations. So there's this strange goat demon thing that's been talking to me, by the way. Yeah, goat guy. You see, the problem with weirdness is that it's an uncontrollable mess. It's the something you want. Really, really want. Snap your fingers. There you go. There it is, right in front of you. If you're Avalonian, that is. You, the people of the homelands, never found out how to control this power. And the problem is that you tried, because obviously you did. You know which human emotion is the strongest. Um, love, clearly. Yes, and every answer was correct. All of these emotions made an impact on the force that surrounds us, that envelops this island, and it tried to give back. You hate somebody, wish them death, snap of your fingers, and here you go. A clear personification of your feelings standing right in front of you. However, since you're not a four-armed Avalonian wizard, you can't control it, can you? Anyway, we'll let this guy yammer on, now, oh. and we'll call it a day. As he's going to give us some new stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching. This is Tainted Grail. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Awakened Realms Digital. Uh, I'll put links below to the Steam page, and you can check it out. Full release is coming very soon. Um, so keep an eye on that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.